Come clean with me. I'm Suzanne Bridgeway. This is Let Us Eat. And today is a clean with me video. It's Thursday. We're approaching the weekend. And I have some free time this morning. So we're going to get cleaned up and do some pre-weekend cleaning to get ready for the family. I have a very busy weekend. I also have to check my menu board to see what needs to be taken out for dinner Saturday and Sunday or to see if we need to stop at the store for it. Also, we have laundry to put away and I want to check all of the small garbage cans. For the commenter who said more about garbage, here's a video that's going to have some clips with garbage just for you. So I hope you're subscribed. And that brings me to another point. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my link and checking me out. I really appreciate it. Let's look for that subscribe word below and click on it. And even if you just view and haven't subscribed yet, I hope that this is the video for you to get you to subscribe on my channel. Thank you to everyone who watches me on a regular basis. I really appreciate it. Everyone's support means a lot to me. And don't forget, when I hit 400, I'm going to be doing a Dollar Tree giveaway. So check out my Dollar Tree hauls and Dollar Tree dinners players list often. And I'll make sure they're both linked in this description box below. What makes this different than a get it all done video is that this is just strictly cleaning and no dinner prep. Always start with a walkthrough. This has to be changed and wiped down. I have to take care of the coffee station, clean up the stove top and wipe out the oven and the microwave. The heat finally broke here in upstate New York, feeling much nicer outside. Yesterday I used my oven and I made a delicious uh, Dutch oven shepherd's pie. And that will be in my cook with me players list. So I'll link that players list in my description box below. We have to wash up some dishes today. I'm going to take a moment to wipe underneath the counter before we start filling it with clean ones. i got to take care of the countertop. Always keep a clean kitchen counter and clean sink because if you have friends over, the kitchen is one of the most popular rooms where you're friends and families migrate to. And we're going to touch up the dining room. The table is already clutter free. We've got a sweep in here. We've got to check in on the gerbil. We've got a sweep in the TV room. I had to mop last night because my 11 year old decided to have a meltdown and get the floor sticky and gross. So I went ahead and mopped last night before bed. I've already made the bed back here and did some tidying up. And I wiped down my TV surface a few times a week to keep it from getting dusty. The kitchen I will sweep. You should sweep every day. It keeps the dust down. And in the back bedroom, that's a little dark at the moment, we'll make that bed together as well. Let's start by making the bed. If you're a regular, you know I preach often about making beds every single day. It makes the room feel that much cleaner. If you'd like to update your bedroom, one of the fastest, most inexpensive ways is to get a brand new comforter if you can't paint or anything because you rent. husband's enjoying his first week of work. We 
works for a company that owns Fryhopper's Bakery. And we get perks. It's awesome. Sometimes he comes home with chocolate chip cookies, little bites, all kinds of yummy stuff. I've been pretty good about making sure the fan's turned off so it doesn't give an awful background noise. And I've been making sure I'm looking directly at you guys during my intros and outros and when necessary. Let's head to the kitchen. Before we even start, I'm going to rinse my sponges. You should rinse them before it's reused. I'm not going to wipe out underneath my dish drain. I'm going to let that warm up. You should wipe under your dish drain often because it gets cruddy under there. dishes, just big bulky ones. I like to do my plates first and stack them up and then add bulky bowls in front of up against the plates as I wash. It fits everything better. Make sure the water feels almost like a bee steam, but not hot, where it's going to burn you. And make sure you scrub everything, especially plates with the green side. These are Dollar Tree sponges, and I've been using them for eons. I hope they continue to sell them, because you get quite a bit of them for a buck. I will not pay $3 for a sponge or a fuse. I love buying Dollar Tree sponges and magic erasers and cleaning products. Also make sure the soap is completely rinsed off so your dishes are not slimy. If you're lucky enough to have a dishwasher other than yourself or your husband or an actual dishwasher, go ahead and empty it or load it. I have to wipe my oven down thoroughly because my husband accidentally spilled grease all over it. He was quite a flush yesterday. Broke on my orange dinner plate, which I'll have to try to find another one at one of the Dollar Trees. I bought them five years ago, and I love them. They're very durable. They wash well, and they've lasted for five years until my husband broke one. When I make my pork chop, which was what we had for dinner last night, I put foil down to make it easier to clean, and the pork chops crisp up with the shake and bake. laundry yesterday, so I only have to fold laundry today. Sorry about the bang.
wash up bowls, any food particles, use the green surface. These are deep fryer baskets. Again, the green side just throw them up and down against the grain. And they become nice and clean and oil free. And if you have a hose, close the soap off. Unless there's stuff on food, the bowls do not need the green scrubby side. I may be cleaning my oven in July and not August because my husband keeps spilling in it. When you're cleaning up your sink, transfer to a different sponge or a cloth, and let's clean the sink. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down because I am going to be wiping out the barrel once I change the trash bag. out. It can be a little tricky at times because it's one of those tight, tall kitchen bags. And I always double knot it. Just as I suspected, it's very heavy. I'm going to triple knot this one. And pull it right out. This will go downstairs. And then we're going to wipe down the front of the barrel. Let's do the lid first. wiping sponge for the barrel. You don't want to cross contaminate. And then just rub the surface. I have a video premiering later today. 12 things we forget to clean and it's going to feature outdoor barrels that you should clean them a few times a year when you're spring and fall cleaning and summer cleaning so they don't have a hideous smell. Make sure all excess water is dumped out. Perfect. I'm going to put the bag back in and show you how I do this. I have a short on it. Shake the bag out. Turn it inside out. And then you put it into the barrel. You 
making sure all the sides are on. Sometimes it's stubborn. In a matter of seconds, the bag is in, and if you have too much air, no problem. Lift it back up just for a second, and let the air out. Along with the kitchen garbage can, I need to replace this one, as well as the bathroom one. I also need to empty the one in the bathroom and replace the bag. I went ahead and sprayed the oven and took the racks out so I can do a good job. Clean up the coffee station. Take the filter and discard it or put it in your jar if you save them for crafts. On Pinterest, there's all kinds of things you can do with leftover coffee grounds. We used to make mud when my kids were little and do sensory bins. Put that right up there to dry. I want to get behind the coffee maker because I spilled a little bit and I don't want any uninvited guests. Make sure your burner is not hot before you lay anything on it. Hide away the cord. In a matter of minutes, things are looking nice. Usually I just wipe the counters down, but at least a couple times a week I do spray them with some good cleaner. And in circular motions, make sure all the food particles are up, just like if you were washing your dishes. My crock pot is going to be used today for dinner. Let's fold laundry. Get the laundry all folded. I do laundry every other day, two to three loads depending on the day and what we've done, like swimming and stuff. And I fold opposite day. The laundry room's downstairs if you're new, and going down 26 stairs to switch each time is good exercise, and I just don't want to fold laundry the same day it's washed. My husband likes to fold and put his own laundry away. My team will put their laundry away, and I put away my 11 year old laundry. If they're home though on the weekend, she likes to help me fold. She's very good at it.
my method is very simple. Undergarments, clothes, clothes, undergarments, clothes, undergarments. Each person has two piles. Let's put laundry away. Jacqueline's room. This is a very old dresser that we got free. The top drawer, socks and underwear that we wear regularly. Drawer underneath, underwear, pajamas. Shorts and t shirts. Third drawer down of shorts and t shirts. Tank top slacks. This one really doesn't have a home, so it goes with the tank tops. And then extra slacks, long sleeve tops, because we still get cool evenings and mornings here. Tights, thin hoodies, a couple extra summer things from Overflow and extra underwear and bathing suits. A few months ago, I took the winter away that I knew I wasn't going to be wearing anymore and put them in bags downstairs. And there is a video on that, and I'll link it in my description box below, of putting away seasonal if you have seasons that change in your state. Let's put away my clothes. I do t-shirts. Extra shorts. Dress, sundress, some sundresses. And tank tops. Leggings. And extra shorts. Extra shorts my concert t-shirts, and my leggings. Bras. And the underwear. Let's put away my clothes. I do t-shirts, extra shorts, and dress, sundress, some sundresses, and tank tops, leggings, and extra shorts.
extra shorts, and my concert t-shirts, and my leggings. Bras. And the underwear. Let's sleep in the kitchen. And the last thing we'll do is we'll scrub the bathroom up. Yesterday I did behind and on the side of the toilet. We were getting kind of grubby. And I don't do them as often as I should. My next list of things we forget to clean so is going to have an honorable mention. TV room, and then we're going to wipe down the coffee table as well as the TV and dinner table, clean the bathroom, and we're done. Wipe your table. I sprayed it with a little bit of the all purpose comet. Even though this is a disinfectant, I'm going to give it a little more of a deep clean today. coffee table, which is actually my hope chest, and I keep blankets in here. And TV. I'm going to put the rug back and we'll clean the bathroom. Grab your Comet or Ajax or whatever you clean your toilet with and sprinkle it. Oh. You should clean your toilet often in the summertime because of hot weather you don't want it to smell. If you're new, I have a two brush system. My white tip brush is the sink only. And start your motion as you would a dish. Make sure you do your faucets and behind the soap. rinse my brushes. My blue tip brush is for my toilet. Hard water stains will never come off and that's what those are. I had my first cleanup with sand of the season from my daughter when they went to the beach last weekend with their boyfriend. Sand can be sticky beach sand like cement.
always get the rim and I always do this top part. Then I take a cloth and wipe down all the excess. You don't want your little bums, our husband's bums, sitting on chemicals. I'm really bad about doing the mirror, but we'll do it today. Yes, my phone case is a boombox. I was a teen of the 80s, and it's my favorite decade, and I wish I had a boombox still. Although my neighbors would be listening to Duff Leopard and Van Halen wherever I did. As well as Yes, Talking Heads, Prince, Motley Crue, Bon Jovi, all the good stuff. Cinderella, Slaughter, Trickster. What are your favorite 80 bands? List them below. Perfect. On my menu board, my kielbasa's in my fridge for you to throw into the crock pot in a little bit. We're having pizza tomorrow night. I have five pizzas in my freezer in the other room, and we have steaks in the freezer. We'll take those out tomorrow night, as well as our chicken breast for Sunday. Clean bathroom. And I did my doorknobs as I entered the bathroom today. Today's a good day to touch up on all the doorknobs. Swept floors. Empty laundry basket. You've seen that here first. Breaking news. I will check on the critter as soon as we're done here. I shook the rug out and put it back. Wiped down the coffee table. I'm going to turn off the lights as I exit their rooms to save energy and electricity. Made bed. Clean dinner table. I have the towel there because some water spilled a little when I did the garbage can and I almost fell. So I don't want to fall and I put that there to dry it up. Clean kitchen. Clean garbage can. made bed. Thank you so much for clicking on my link and dropping by. I hope I was able to get you motivated and get your housework done. It is very early yet still. I'm going to throw my dinner into the crock pot in a little bit. I'm doing sausage and peppers tonight for my husband after a long day of work. We decided to do some fair food tonight and I have some fresh green beans that we're going to have with it for our side. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my link and dropping by. I appreciate every one of you who watch on a regular basis, even if you're not subscribed, I appreciate you still. Let's look for that subscribe board below and click on it. Make sure you smash that like button and smash that bell.